In this video, we will look at a space syntax analysis method called axial line analysis. The term space syntax encompasses another set of methods for analyzing spatial networks in buildings and urban areas. With these methods the approach and terminology are slightly different. We will briefly review the core space syntax analysis method using axial lines. The first step is to draw a 2D map of the longest straight lines of sight through all streets and spaces. These lines of sight are called axial lines and represent possible paths that people could follow. These axial lines represent spaces or street segments within the urban fabric. The axial line map is then converted into a network. However, in this process, nodes and edges are reversed. Each axial line becomes a node, and each point of intersection between axial lines becomes an edge. This means that a long straight street can be represented as a single node in the network. In the example, we can see that the first axial line, labeled 1, becomes a single node in the network, with four edges representing the four points of intersection with other axial lines. The resulting network can be analyzed. Space syntax defines a set of its own metrics, the three main ones being integration, depth distance, and choice. Integration measures the number of steps it takes to get from each space to all other spaces. This turns out to be the same as closeness centrality, with an edge weight of 1. Depth distance measures the sum of the distance from each space to all the other spaces. Distances are calculated as the linear distance between street center points. Choice measures for each space the number of times shortest paths between other spaces travel through that space. It is similar to betweenness centrality. The image shows an axial line analysis of Brasilia. The colors show the integration values of the different streets.